These are like a warning before you do these challenges. Like, please, it is doctor's recommendation. You know, I used to love pickles. I haven't had a pickle since. Hi everybody, it is Susan, aka Kinda Quirky, and today I'm here with Mo of Mo Better Vegan. Hello. And we are going to do the kitchen sink challenge, coconut bliss style. The kitchen sink challenge is established at various ice cream parlors throughout the country. Everything in the ice cream parlor gets served to the customer. So today we are going to do our own version using Luna and Larry's Coconut Bliss ice cream. All 15 flavors that they make in one Sunday. 15? 15? 15 flavors. Oh it is on. All right, so we've got these beautiful sundaes in front of us. They have every single flavor scoop of coconut bliss in them, and it is starting to melt, so we are gonna dig in and talk while we eat. Yes. Woo, cheers. 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 Boom. Boom. <laughs> no, my cherry's starting to slide. Mm. From the sunday. That was a sunday comment. <laughs> so for everyone at home, these sundays have 15 scoops of ice cream. That is one scoop of every single flavor of coconut bliss ice cream, which we use coconut bliss because um, it's delicious. Plus I'm a vegan. And I know people who, they're not vegan, uh -huh. they're not lactose intolerant, and they still prefer coconut bliss ice cream. Super decadent. So have you had every flavor? I have not had ever, every flavor. All of their mm. flavors. They have really nailed it. And I think we nailed this Sunday. Part of the kitchen sink is that it not only includes every flavor of ice cream that an ice cream parlor often has, but it includes all their toppings. In the spirit of keeping vegan and gluten free, this Sunday has vegan coconut whipped cream, strawberries, pecans, almonds, blackberries, pineapple, sprinkles. And as far as like brownie bits and cookie bits go, it's in the ice cream flavor. Yes, I'm sorry. I want to give more commentary, but this is really delicious. <laughs> about Mo Betta Vegan. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite ice cream topping? You know, I do like a caramel, but mm -hmm. I haven't had one in a while because of the vegan thing. The, this coconut whip topping is up there too. I'm gonna have a sugar hangover tomorrow. I know this much. Well, it's agave. Not quite as bad as regular sugar, or it is low glycemic, so uh -huh. it shouldn't affect us too bad today. The good news is you're off tomorrow. I am not. I open. <laughs> oh no. I hope. What was it today? Like 109, 111? Mm -hmm. Heat affects mood. But Always this hydrate, kids. is a good plan. Yeah, hydrate. <laughs> that's, that's a better plan. I was going to give you diabetes. <laughs> Would you like to come over for some diabetes? <laughs> there was a flavor of ice cream that was named after Susan. What would be in it? Vanilla with blueberry pie in the ice cream. What would be yours? My favorite thing in the world is breakfast. So what I was thinking is somebody needs to make a vegan friendly pancake one. A little bit of cinnamon just so it's gonna be like maple-y, a little bit of cinnamon, coconut bacon so it's got that like sweet mm. and salty thing. Like I feel like we should create this and like have an entire lineup of vegan breakfast ice cream. So that way if they want their pancakes and their bacon and their coffee, it's just a separate Oh, flavor. do you have like a coffee and donut one? Orange juice, but we're like, what well, we'll goes with good with orange uh, juice and besides tough. tequila? Maybe. Your, your sunrise ice cream. Don't be still my ideas. No. I don't even know how I know this fact, but pistachio is actually the first or second most popular flavor of ice cream in the world. Vanilla is the other most popular flavor. I was thinking vanilla, straight up vanilla is kind of boring. If I have a choice between something that's vanilla and not vanilla, I'm going to choose the not vanilla one. Like when people get like a plain something, when they have a choice to not get a plain something, they're just like, why, why? And I, I admit, it's not rational in any concept. People can get whatever they want. So that's how I feel about vanilla and apple pie. And um, oh, oh, how did the apple pie get dragged? Okay, no, this? like I like <laughs> apple pie. Just like it's the vanilla of pies. I am getting a little nervous because I'm feeling a little full already. <laughs> Dude, are you telling me? I'm like trying. I'm trying to like eat. Side by side, I really should be digging all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I haven't even touched this side yet. I don't even know what treasures lie over there. This is starting to get tough. It, it really is. You know what it is? Like all the chocolate ones are at the bottom. I need my cherry again. I actually didn't find the naked one. The naked flavors. They were on top. I don't know. All the flavors are blending together right now. Literally. Literally blending together. It's just so much chocolate. It's so much ice cream. Mm -hmm. I have, oh man. I don't like that patch. I like how you're eating yours. You've got like wells. I like ice cream. <laughs> this yeah, is like the know. ultimate breakup bowl. <laughs> I can't believe you broke up with me. <laughs> I know. You said it was too awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Colors are definitely changing. I think my eyes might oh my be dilating or doing something. I feel twitchy. 
No, <laughs> just bourbon to make sure they have room down there. Is a coconut a nut or a fruit? Yes. Well, a coconut is always in that like tree nut thing, right? Is it considered a tree nut? I'm, I'm just thinking about allergy information. On a package. Yeah. When it says like the ingredients. If in the ingredients it says coconut, in the allergy information it doesn't say tree nuts, does it? I don't I don't pay that much attention. I thought it did, <laughs> but I have no idea. I feel like glad that I don't have food allergies because I, I'm like so paranoid. I'm like a huge hypochondriac. One time I called my mom and I called my sister because I, I, could, I swore I was having a heart attack. Like this is the part that was really hilarious. I read online like a homeopathic way to stop heart attack. If you have one, just drink cayenne tea. Cayenne tea? There's cayenne tea, but I just put cayenne in hot water and I was like, I, I think I'm dying. <laughs> I think I'm dying and they're like, you're drinking cayenne pepper Or they like, tea. you're dying of drinking cayenne pepper. Tell me, you cannot look at WebMD. Does WebMD do any good for anyone on the planet? It told my guy friend that he was pregnant. I have lumps in here, but they're not from the fruit. I have this giant lump right over here. But it's literally all the fudge pulled together. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't think right now because no, I don't know exactly. sugar. <laughs> yeah. We both have tossed in the towel. I cannot do any more of this. I apparently am horrible eating bowls of ice. We did, I mean, we did pretty well. Okay, so what did you think of this challenge? It's kind of deceptive because you would think, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna eat a bunch of sundaes. I could do that. I realized that I have a few more food aversions than I, I thought. I had no idea that chocolate would do me in. You know, if, if Luna and Larry's wanted to create a line of breakfast flavored coconut bliss. Heck yeah. I would add that to my coconut bliss repertoire. I mean, I have, I've collected all the flavors now. So um, this was fun. It is hot in the summer. You might be able to do better than we did and be able to actually finish your bowl. These are punch bowls, by the way. If this Sunday looked dwarfed at all because of the bowl, it, was, it, was, it wasn't the Sunday. it was the bowl. Look at you being all picky about size. This was an awesome way to stay cool. If this looked delicious to you, give us a thumbs up. Absolutely, check out Mo's blog, Mo Betta. Vegan. Yes, with an A. I'll put the link down in the description below. Her blog is awesome. She's got some really good recipes on there, especially like the stuffed mushrooms. Looks pretty awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Leave a comment below. I think we asked some questions. I hope those got recorded. If not, I'd love to know what is your favorite flavor of ice cream to cool off with during the summer? Like, comment, my brain is not working. Subscribe if you have not done so already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in two weeks for more shenanigans. I'm really impressed. Mm. And um, neither one of us has gotten a brain freeze. Maybe this is brain freezeless ice cream. This is my best tasting food challenge yet. I'm sure. I couldn't, I could, I can't, no. I can't formulate words. I really did think I could do way better than I did. I got beat by some ice cream. When you say it like that. Nope, Weird. I can't do it.